as we've said over and over and over again, we have a dearth of healthcare professionals. We don't have enough for Towards finding lasting solutions to illicit financial outflows from Africa, heads of intelligence and security services across the continent brainstorm in Abuja. Nigeria and U.S. sign land global food security strategy country plan. Federal government creates platform to allow smallholder farmers access loan facility at single interest rates. Now, in the news in details, heads of intelligence and security services across Africa have begun brainstorming towards finding lasting solutions to illicit financial flows from the continent in view of their devastating consequences on national security. It is the 16th ordinary session of the Committee of Intelligence and Security Services of Africa, hosted by the National Intelligence Agency. President Mohamed Bukhari, who declared the session open, described the attacks as not only laudable but essential to Africa's prosperity and stability. State House correspondent Ali Musawu. It is estimated that African countries lose over $60 billion annually due to illicit financial outflows, a figure much higher than the total aid coming to the continent. In fact, records from the United Nations show that between 1990 to 2009, $1.3 billion in out of Africa, a continent in their need of development finance. This conference of African intelligence and security services is therefore an attempt to lay a solid base for collaborative efforts required to stay in fight. In Nigeria, we have risen to the challenge. The fight against corruption remains the core of our efforts to accelerate national development. We have reported successes even though the perpetrators are not giving up and are trying to fight back. I am therefore pleased that this we brought the sense of urgency that we collectively have about this devastation and raise our response capacity at operational levels. Fire action towards achieving the objectives as terrorist networks and other syndicates actively undermining the stability of Africa not only fund the operations from the proceeds of crime but are implicated in much of the illicit financial outflows from I therefore urge you to develop actionable strategy to stem the flow of illicit from our society, examining the link between crime and instability in our continent, and provide to ensure that and criminals are access our financial systems. Chairperson of CISA and Director General of the Intelligence Agency, said other than direct harm to economies, illicit financial outflows facilitate financing of criminal ventures and other subversive activities which constitute an existential threat to the continent, which no amount of foreign assistance can put in an end to illicit financial outflows and several other security challenges is a task that we can and must do. We want to give assurance of CISA's continued efforts to fight all forms of security threats, including racial and emerging transborder crime, such as financial flows. All partnership we see that is vital for collective efforts to promote peace, and we continue working together to strengthen it. More specifically, special attention should be paid to the competition in super the over from the Gulf crisis 
and there are various impacts on our continent. The Committee of Intelligence and Security Services of Africa was established in Abuja 15 years ago to build bridges of cooperation, collaboration, brotherhood, and solidarity towards confronting emerging security challenges facing the continent. In Adamu Kambu, India News. All the nationals drawn from and Cyprus will receive the first ever international freedom award of the government. He is the Imam of Villa, 162 Christians in Mark and in the town in June. It's launched a bloody attack to turn villages to the chain. It is the belief of the United States government that it such a potent series of men and women. And the life, the promotion of religious liberty, and in advancing the cause of peace around the world. In a country such as Nigeria, where religious has the potential of turning the Imam Abu Bakr is a shining symbol of hope for a better future. One other word you could not make tonight, but I've just got to read you this about him. I'll conclude with him. Abdukar Abdullah of Nigeria. Amadala's actions today take the lives his actions witness to true courage, true selflessness, and true brotherly love. Speaking at the first international religious award held in the United States of America, United States Secretary of State Mark Mike Pompeo noted that women who have destroyed and given assurance that religion lies on solid making history. This is the second time we've done this here at the State Department. Uh, largest human rights gathering ever. Your, your presence here uh, underscores the fact that uh, faith matters, uh, that the right to worship, to assemble, to practice, to teach one faith is undeniable. And we have the ability to symbolize The award will inspire all the world. President the International Religion United States Department of State. On behalf of Italy, congratulations. Old Muslim clerk is befitting. Our discussions on religion and around the world. for achieving the feat of scaling through the onerous processes. <laughs> that scholars must share discoveries from the researchers or patents where they fund. Just to know what challenges we might face and how to overcome them. So it has been very beneficial. I think it's answered all of the questions that we had before coming here. Most of the information is an un degree PhD candidate, followed by Kaduna, with 638, made up of 485 MSc and 153 PhD candidates. Ibado Center, 532, made Probably them they are available for pharmacy. This devastation and raise our response capacity at operational Given the objectives as terrorist net needs to create confusion in the land, said the Rugas president believes the recognition bestowed on the eighty three year old Muslim cleric is towering and befitting for the patriot who risked his own life. This and other issues at Thursday. To President Muhammadu Buhari for making Voice of Nigeria a major beneficiary of one of his patriotic anti graft war. For building the edifice that we have. 85 Naira, Indomie noodles, tasty nutrition, good for you. My name is Baba.
the ruling admitting them to bail. He, however, ruled that each of the defendants must produce one shorty who is resident within the jurisdiction of the court. The prosecuting counsel, Abba Donatus, presented three witnesses to the court. Among them is Inspector Amelie Sheni, who sustained injuries from the attack by the El Zagzaki supporters. The case was adjourned to enable him to receive proper treatment and be strong enough to stand in the witness box to give his evidence. Both counsels did not object to the ruling and the case was adjourned to the 1st of August for hearing. Habiba Oladipo, NTA News. The Kano Office of the Department of Petroleum Resources has sealed off more than 20 fuel stations for sharp practices in selling petrol. The department sanctioned the air and stations as part of routine monitoring and surveillance in the state. Muhammad Rabiu Ali reports that most of the filling stations were dispensing their products above the regulated pump price. From 1st July to date, 217 stations were monitored in Keno and Jigawa State by the Department of Petroleum Resources to ensure strict compliance with the letdown rules. Most of the stations visited were found selling at or below the approved price of 145 naira per liter of premium motor spirits. However, while some filling stations abide by the rules and regulations, others engage in sharp practices. This is Conoyal Petrol Station Tarani in Kano Metropolis, undergoing renovation and at the same time selling PMS. And despite that, they are also selling below uh, or dispensing uh, below the accurate volume that is under dispensing. And uh, some quantity, about 40,000 liters, were lifted with the name of this station and was diverted. Out of the 25 stations placed under seal for various offenses, eight were found under dispensing. 14 were sanctioned for outright diversion of PMS, while seized found operating with expired licenses. Whatever customers paid for, you should be given that commensurable volume. Where you give a customer short of his money, you cheated that customer. And it's DPR now to call on that company to either calibrate or to adjust as the case may be. The operations controller therefore warned petroleum marketers to desist from sharp practices as severe punishment awaits any defaulting company. From Kano, Muhammad Rabi Ali, NTA News. An end to hunger, malnutrition and poverty is now in sight following the launch of a country plan on food security by Nigeria and the United States governments tagged Feed the Future Initiative. Adebola Brooklyn Sunday was at the signing and declaration of partnership between the two giants of their continents. One out of every four persons in the sub-Saharan Africa is said to lack access to adequate food as a result of hiking price and droughts. To tackle this challenge, the Nigerian government came up with various initiatives to restore agriculture to its status before the oil boom and stamp out food insecurity. Taking cognizance of the premium placed on food security and nutrition at both national and state levels by Nigerian government, the United States government selected Nigeria as one of the 12 countries and provided a blueprint for inclusive and sustainable agriculture-led economic growth that will strengthen resilience among people. And boost marketing capabilities with assistance to more than 1.3 has the formed in efforts in this uh, in Nigeria. Arabia, Lami Ali, NTA News. Next, we'll link up with Caleb in our Just Network Center. Caleb. Thank you, Sarah, and welcome to Jaws. The Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna, says it remains resolute to providing quality military training that will secure and protect the territorial integrity of the country. The Commandant, Major General Adenoye Oyebade, said this in Jaws while visiting cadets undergoing training at